Hi, everybody. I am here again with another collage session, still working in my art mythos um, art journal and getting ready to start another for this week. Um, so I was thinking about using um, this piece right here, which is a photocopy of this piece, a black and white photocopy of this piece here, which I received in exchange from Robin. Um, so just, it's an envelope with an Asian design and it's really beautiful. I thought though that it might be interesting to make a black and white copy of it and then use the glazing technique that I learned from Robin um, over it. So basically I photocopied it black and white and then I brayered some metallic gold, a couple of different versions of metallic gold paint and I just ran a few pulls off the, the jelly plate off the jelly plate with this same Xerox paper and this is what I got. So I really like it. Um, as I've mentioned before, I really love the look, the contrast and the look of black with white. Um, so I'm always using black and white or trying to convert things into black and white. Um, so I'm thinking about using this. A lot of the design that you see that was on the original has kind of been subdued. You can see a little bit of it in here, but um, mostly it's just like a background pattern and this one pops a little bit more. So I like it. I'm going to keep it. I'm now just kind of gonna decide how I'm gonna position this on the page. It doesn't run the full length as you can see, so my tendency is to go to the middle but first I need to decide what background I want to use. And of course I really like the black background because it's not blank. I mean, it's not white and it already creates contrast, um, but we will see. So I just happened to pick this up. I'm gonna see if I like any of how it looks. Um, that might be a little bit too much the same, but we'll see. I also have some of this that might be, might work. These are just scraps that I have. They're scraps that I have from other prints that I've created or used. And kind of like that, because it has similar, similar colors. like that um, I would probably make it a torn edge instead of cut edge um, we'll see how this works um, I know that there is the technique to kind of um, use ink pads to to do this white edge. I, I like it sometimes though, so I think I might keep it and maybe I'll center this and see what that looks like. I feel like I want to make corners for this piece, like frame it, but not in a frame necessarily, but just frame it with some different textures and colors. So we'll look at here and see what that looks like. This is a little bit too neat. I mean, it's funny because I want to be right on the straight edge, but then I want to tear it, so it's kind of funny. But um, 
I don't know if it really makes a lot of sense the way I choose to do things, maybe like that. Um, I know that there can be too much patterning, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe behind it should be something, maybe behind it, I'll try that. So put that to the side, get some of this. Um, Sometimes I get out my trimmer, but I'm just going to try and trim it this way for now. So this isn't, isn't cutting for me too easily, but we'll see. Let's we'll see what we can do. That wasn't too graceful, but oh well. Okay. See if this works better. I'm okay with the torn edge. I just didn't want it to be as as much as it was. So maybe the same will happen over here, which is fine. A little bit more luck there. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if any of this works together. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I haven't used this pattern. This is um, a Jelly Planet print that I drew, I did in my sketchbook and then I drew over it with white and white pens and markers, gel pens and so I haven't used it in a while, but I've used it in earlier, earlier collage pieces. I feel like that could work. I really want to use it, but maybe Maybe I'll take this one out and put this in. See what happens. I like this pattern piece underneath, so this is a little bit tougher than it has been. But I like the white behind it more than I do when it's blank. So I'm gonna tack this down. See, just I don't want to I don't want to think too much about it. So I do want to like it, but I don't want to think too much about it. So I will put it there for now. I do like this here, so I'm gonna do that for sure. Since it's in front of it, yeah, that's good. So that'll be torn off. Eventually, I like that. And then, I don't know if other pieces would work better. Nope, too bulky. Maybe like that. Okay. 
maybe like that, and still I like this, but I don't think it's the right one. I like this, so I'll tack it down. And now this whole thing will probably come up because I want to see if, how this will look. I think I tacked it down too much. Might not work now. Yeah, there it goes. So, a little sloppy, but. Yeah, I think this will maybe work. This is Tim Holtz tissue paper. So I'm hoping this will do the trick. I think it will. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to trim it here. I'm going to trim it all around. And my plan, what I'm thinking about right now, is that I am going to um, have it torn here and Maybe it'll tear on its own and I won't have to think about it too much, but it doesn't look like it's going to. I'm probably going to have to tear it and try not to think about it. So, I think I'm going to do that. I feel like I need a little splash of something, but maybe not. Maybe I can keep it like this. I feel like something here. So, maybe I guess I can tack everything down first and then and then see. So so I do want this edge the way it is. I like the edge torn at the bottom. but maybe it'll have a nice effect. I just want it to be more uneven because I have everything so lined up. I feel, I mean, I have it centered, so, and I'm fine with that, but I also then want to like balance it with something that's not so neat. And none of this feels neat right now, but I, I'm just trying to find the right words to say that some of it's very, you know, this is very symmetrical. This is rectangular on the rectangle, the larger rectangle. It's centered, and I like that, and that's what I want. And at the same time, I want to throw it off. I want to, I want to balance out the balance by adding some things that aren't so well placed, I guess. So that's how I think of it when I. That's what I'm thinking of when I trying to tear edges and make it not look so neat. So that's what I'm thinking when I'm doing that. I like placing things in the middle, um, placing images or uh, something like this in the middle, but then I like offsetting it with this, these tears and these little pieces. So I'm going to do the back of this and then, or add glue to it. And then I'm going to, I'm, I'm thinking as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about what kind of image I might want um, to kind of finish it off. And there's, there are a few ideas I have. One is butterfly. I've been using butterflies quite a bit, so that would be in line with, that would be consistent with what I'm doing. Um, I also, um, 
Let me see, I have to center this first. Center it right and left, and then to pull it down a little bit so that this guy is lined up with the bottom edge. And then And then this needs to be glued down. Maybe the flower from the black and white tissue paper, maybe a flower would look good. I'm gonna let this be creased and wrinkled. Or maybe I'm thinking a butterfly, like I said, or um, have some key images. So I'm still deciding. I want this little piece to stick out because it has a nice unevenness to it. So there. And here. Tack all of these pieces down. So I'm trying to do. And I'll trim. It's a little tougher to try and get those edges off with a ruler when they're that thin. So that's why I'm using scissors. This one I could do with the ruler, I think. Okay, so I like that. And I'm feeling like maybe, no, there's a flower and a flower when you do. So, um, I'm thinking now of a butterfly. Or a key, or both. So I have this key here, but it's a little bit too loud and maybe even a little bit too much of the same colors. So let me see. Yeah, it just, that's not right. So I have these sheets here, butterflies I'm thinking. Nope. I don't know. I will find it in this session, but maybe. I feel like that might work, but it may be a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think that'll work. These scissors are really big. I should be, they're working. So the materials I've used here that I have not made are um, from the butterfly, is from a Dover pictorial archive of butterflies and moths. And the white graphic images come from a Tim Holtz um, tissue paper. And what else? I think that's it, everything else. Oh, and then of course you saw the photocopy of the envelope. And so three elements that I used in here that are from other sources. And then um, a gold recycled tissue paper that was ink blotted, and then my glazing, jelly print glazing of the photocopy. Everything else is really basic, just um,
just, I'm not sure that's gonna work. I feel like it's too small now that I, maybe it's nice there. It might work there. And I feel like it needs like a scroll or something underneath it, like something to transition it from, not this, but like something scrolly or something, I don't know, something else. But, hmm, maybe not this, but something. This is too. No, not this. Something like a key. Something like architectural. I feel like it needs. Let's see if I can look through. I have a big bin of things here. I'm not sure. I'll find it here. Should it be a ribbon? Green is not going to work. I feel like maybe just something like this. I don't know. I feel like it needs something like that. Maybe, no, I feel like it needs something. Maybe like a word on there or something too. So I don't know, but I'm gonna tack it down. I'm gonna think about what it might need because I feel like it needs a word. I mean, it's okay to float there, it looks okay, but I feel like it needs something else. So I think I'm gonna do this. I feel like this is kind of like a little scroll or a nameplate, and then I want to figure out what I'm going to put on here. And actually, this Tim Holtz paper has words on it. I'm not sure I want a whole word, but silver, metal, maybe metal. There's, um, or even like part of a word. I don't know what this means right here. But maybe, maybe that. Maybe this. Yeah, maybe that. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see if it works. I'll cut out a couple of areas because I don't know what's gonna work. A little fuzz is my phone. So something, I think that's pretty. I'll do that. So I'm not sure how to get it on there without really tearing it, which I don't want it to tear. So I might have to cut it. I'm just gonna cut it. It's gonna be a little bit neater, but maybe, maybe it won't be. My scissors are dirty, I have to clean them all these little pieces of, I don't know what, paint and it's hard to grab this little piece to get a torn edge. Kind of glad these aren't cutting too well because then it gives me a jagged edge that I want, but I'm not able to cut with my fingers with a ruler. Maybe it can be done, but I'm just not able to do it myself. So kind of glad. Yeah. Let's see. I'll try a little bit more. my phone again. OK, 
Okay, so I'm almost done here. I think I'm just going to let this be it. Maybe I'll, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll mold it a little bit more. Mold the cuts a little bit to the form of the letters. One more little bit, and then we're going to be done. So I don't even know how long this video has taken already. Hopefully it's not taking too long. Okay. Whoops. Piece just tore off. Oh, another piece just tore off. Great. Okay. So here, maybe, Let's see if I can piece this back together. Right here. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's definitely not going to be a neat little. Okay, that didn't work. It's okay. Just keep on trying. Okay, now I glued the wrong side. Okay. Hopefully now. Let's see. Let's see. I think it's going to work. I think it's good enough as far as the effect I wanted and maybe worked out better than I tried to because it's kind of broken and worn and weathered and torn, so it's okay. I like it. A little bit grungy, but that's okay. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I will be here working on my next um, piece um, in my next video. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.